Breaking news, if it's true, and it looks like by all reports that it is, Alabama head coach Nick Saban is officially retiring as uh, as head coach at Alabama. Um, a couple of these reports started to pop up over the last uh, couple of hours, really, but now some of your bigger, sort of more mainstream, known, trusted, and reliable sources are reporting it, too. Nick Saban stepping down as head coach um, at Alabama, and... Um, there's going to be a lot of widespread reaction to this. There's going to be, you know, varying reactions uh, from different kinds of people on this. And, you know, we'll we'll have time to maybe make fun of Alabama fans a little bit for losing Nick Saban, but that's not really what I want to do here. Um, I have been calling Nick Saban the, the greatest college football coach of all time for years here on this channel. I, I, I've clowned him when, you know, uh, Georgia and Alabama were getting ready to play and some of the trash talk type of stuff or whatever. But, um, man, this is uh, this is huge news in the world of college football. I mean, whether you love or hate Bama, whether you lo uh, love or hate Saban, um, the, the national titles, uh, the, just uh, the winning percentage, the number of wins, national titles at multiple schools, um, it is hard to argue that there is a better college football coach throughout the course of history uh, than Nick Saban. Um, he has literally done it all. Uh, he won national titles um, in the BCS era uh, uh, at two different schools, and he has won multiple national titles during the playoff era at Alabama, um, SEC titles. Uh, he has literally beat a who's who uh, of college football programs across the country uh, over his time mostly at LSU and uh in Alabama of course uh starting off before that at uh at Michigan State but uh it's just huge news huge news and um it, it, it's polarizing you know because of the way a lot of people feel about Alabama but look let's be real the reason people feel the way they feel about Alabama is because of Nick Saban if you love Alabama, it's because of Nick Saban. If you hate Alabama, it's because of Nick Saban. They have won and won and won and won and won and won and won. And we don't see this happen very often in the world of sports. Uh, but, when, but when it does happen, it gets almost the same reaction. You know, the Yankees win a bunch of World Series. All of a sudden, everybody hates the Yankees. Um, you know, you go back in time 30 years or so when the Cowboys are winning a bunch of Super Bowls, everybody hates the Cowboys. You, you know, either. Like, there are no... There are no fence riders when it comes to greatness like that, right? <clears throat> you either love them or you hate them. Uh, everybody has an opinion on Nick Saban in Alabama. Everybody had an opinion on the Yankees. Everybody had an opinion on the King. You can go back through time and find these different kind of dynasties. I think what Nick Saban was able to do at Alabama is probably um, the best sports dynasty of all time. He dominated uh, the world of college football in the toughest conference in the country during that time, the SEC. Uh, I'm not talking about today. I'm talking about, you know, just in general over the last 20 years, the SEC has been the best conference, no matter what metric you use to measure that. Uh, Nick Saban was able to dominate college football um, in the best conference in the land at one of the most storied programs um, in college football history, the university. Uh, of Alabama. Alabama was a forgotten team, a forgotten program, basically, when Saban took that job in 2007. They had won a national title in 92, but quickly after that, they fell back down to really irrelevancy. And again, this is not a trash talk thing. There'll be time for that later. But, you know, Alabama went through a string of bad coaching hires, um, probations, embarrassing losses, and Nick Saban got there, and it wasn't a five-year turnaround. It was almost immediate. They were pretty close to 500 his first year there in 2007. In 2008, they made the SEC title game and lost to Florida. Florida, who went on to win the national title that year, 2008. And then in 2009, Nick Saban won his first SEC, uh, SEC title uh, and his first uh, uh, national title at Bama, and they were off and running. Uh, Auburn won it the following year in 2010, but then Bama won it again in 2011, and it just seemed like title after title after title after title um, after that. Uh, he, he won back-to-back uh, -back national titles in, what, 12 and 13? Uh, Ohio State won it in 14, but then Bama won it again in 15. Clemson in 16. Bama again in 17. 
Clemson in 18, LSU in 19, Bama again in 20. And um, of course, that's going to end up being his last one. For the first time in his career at Alabama, Nick Saban has now gone three straight years without a national title. 21, 22, and 23. Just think about how remarkable that is. Think about how long he's been at Bama. And this is this Michigan winning the national title this year marks the first time since he's been at Bama that he's gone three years without winning a national title. But uh, Nick Saban retires, uh, gone as head coach at Alabama, um, having won one national title in the last six years, um, uh, which seems pretty <laughs> seems pretty average compared to what you know the pace he was on prior to that. Uh, but even in the years that Bama didn't win the national title while he was at Bama, they were almost always a top five team, uh, top, top 10 every time, um, right? They, I mean, they lost uh, uh, in the playoffs this year. Um, they just missed out on the playoffs the year before. They la lost the national title game to Georgia in 2021, won it all in 2020. Um, uh, LSU won it all in 2019 by beating Bama. Clemson won it in 2018 by beating Bama. Uh, Bama won it in 2017. I mean, it's just, they've either won or played for the national title over half the time that he's been there. It's just unbelievable and remarkable. Where will Bama go from here? Who will they get? Who will they go after? <laughs> You're going to see a list of names pop up, I'm sure, if it hadn't already. Um, <clears throat> I'm curious to see what approach they take. Um, and I'm curious what Bama fans might think in terms of um, the direction that they could go. Do they go after a sort of established, already dominant coach? You know, in other words, do they take like the Southern Cal route, you know, who went and got Lincoln Riley? I know Lincoln Riley doesn't have any natties, but I'm just saying, do, do they go that route? Do, do, do they go get an established winner? Um, do they do that? Or do they do like what Georgia did? Go out and get a first timer. Georgia brings in Kirby Smart. He's had a lot of success. Um, you know, what are they, you know, Clemson, you know, they went and got Dabo. He wasn't on anybody's list of head coaches. It's worked out pretty well for Clemson. What direction do they go? So if you're, if you're a Bama fan, I'll just ask you, list me some names down below. Who do you think they'll go after? Who do you want them to go after? Uh, what about Glenn Schumann at Georgia? If they look to go to a first-time head coach, sort of an up-and-comer with ties to Bama, you know, Glenn Schumann maybe, Dan Lanning at Oregon, any way they could get him? Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know if they're interested in that. I don't, you know, I don't know. What about Sarkeesian at Texas? I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Deion Sanders. <laughs> Please hire Deion Sanders. Please. Please hire Deion. Um, anyway, I, I, I did, I'm not making this video to, to, to talk trash or laugh at the Bama fans or um, whatever. But uh, again, I'm sure there'll be time for that here uh, over the next couple of weeks. But uh, I will say this, um, no matter who they hire, no matter who they hire, you're not going to get Saban results. You're not. It's not going to happen. Um, you know, <laughs> Nick Saban, how many titles did he win just at Bama? Is it six? Six titles in 15 years? 16 years? You're never going to have another coach that wins six titles in 16. Never. <laughs> Look, Saban is the greatest of all time. Why? Because he did something no one else has ever done. What are the odds you're going to replace that with someone else who does something that's ever been? It's not going to happen. You're going to take some steps back. How many? I don't know. Playoffs are expanding to 12 teams. So, you know, maybe Bama goes from winning an average of 12 games a year to winning an average of, what, 10 games a year? That's still going to get them into playoffs in a lot of years. We'll see. I have no idea what direction they're going to go. But a lot of these Bama fans who are internet-only Bama fans, in other words, you, won't, you, you whether it's because of your age or whether it's because you're just straight up a bandwagon, a lot of Bama fans, all they know is an elite championship contending Alabama team. That's all they know. That's all they've ever seen. Some of those fans are in for a rude awakening because whoever you bring into Tuscaloosa to uh, replace Nick Saban ain't going to give you what you got from Saban. You're going to have some years that have you banging your head against the wall, curled up in a corner in a fetal position, looking for a security blanket and emotional support dog. Uh, and I don't know about the rest of you, but I, for one, uh, I'm here for that.